So the Associated Press is reporting that college students are flocking to the marriage pact. That's where two friends vow to marry each other if they don't find love by a specific time. Hmm. Arthur, <laughs> Andrea, would you do this? <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> don't clap. Stop it. Don't do it. The audience and us are trying to ship you guys together. <laughs> Big time. First of all, I don't know why we need a a, a, a future pact. Um, we could do this in the summer. Anyways, um, <laughs> but that's that's not the question. That's, that's not the question. That wasn't the question. I apologize. The question: Would you do this? No. Why are you bring your friends into your issues? No, 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 no. Okay. They're already dealing with whatever issues you have that are preventing other people from marrying you. So don't. If you're truly a good friend. Don't bring your friends into your issues, okay? <laughs> Leave them where they are so you can actually have people in your life. Yes, and I'm gonna tag team that comment yeah. because I feel like these packs, I've had lots of these conversations with people and I feel like these packs are coming from a place of desperation. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This feeling that like, you know what? I'm really worried I might not meet somebody. So hey, you yeah. and I are friends. So if my age, well, what's my cutoff? 39, we don't yeah. find somebody, you and me, right? You yeah, and me. Yeah. And I, I hate that, I hate that. Cause I'm thinking, okay, I've been to a lot of weddings and I love the speeches at weddings and I'm trying to imagine if I have a packed wedding. <laughs> and I'm standing there gonna say something wonderful about my spouse. What am I gonna say if it was like, listen, I searched and searched and could find no one. Yeah. The good old Arthur yeah, here yeah. agreed 20 years ago that he would do me a solid and yeah. marry me. So here we, here are. we are, enjoy, yeah. cheers. Enjoy the hors d'oeuvres. Yes. Yeah. You love this scene? I kind of love that. As you said that, I'm like, this is kind of romantic. It's just the way you look How at it. How is that romantic? I don't know. <laughs> you tell Cynthia. me. Would you rather, okay, right now, hook up with a complete stranger, like yes. getting together or like planning, <laughs> versus a friend? Like, would you, like, like somebody who you know is a good person who you might find? A lot of times we're attracted to our friends. Am I the only person? Who's attracted to our friends? Oh, admit it. Attracted enough to marry them? Stop I'm just it. saying, like, I was um, at the hookup period of things. Yeah. Okay? I, I, look, I'm of two minds with this. Mm. On the one hand, I think people are trying as best as they can. They're tired of the dating apps. If you know that you really like someone as a friend, and maybe there's a tiny bit of spice underneath that, why not? There's a reason why people who their high school sweethearts from ages ago mm. end up after divorce hooking up together again. Sometimes that flame is small, but it lasts. Yeah, but here's the thing. Mm. That flame was there in high school, yeah. okay? okay? There's nothing romantic about being like, listen, you're There's not no my type here. right now. But when I'm desperate and I'm old and things have run out, I'll come back to you and maybe we can revisit this. Yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing romantic about that. Yeah. I want a person who's like, no, I want to be with you today. Thank you. I just think like, not when the nuclear war has happened and we're in a bunker. <laughs> Because nobody wants bunkers. to be, I don't want you to be my plan B, and yeah. I don't want to be your plan B. Yeah. yeah. Whoever Four wants things. to be second choice. You nobody. Know, you know no. who, who, who has started this, though, really bad, is that all those reality dating shows that you watch, oh. you know what I mean? Almost inevitably, there are two choices at the end. This happened with The Golden Bachelor most recently. This certainly happens in Love is Blind, yeah. where there's someone who's a kind of tight backup, and people are <laughs> always thinking, like, that's the person that they could but possibly But at least in those later. situations, you were attracted, and you did kiss that person, and you did have a little okay, something. You just, you're, those problems on those shows is you have too many good choices. So you're not quite, you're confused as to what to do. And, and I agree with you. I feel like marriage now is a game show where we are all sitting back hoping like, which one? Pick door number two. Like that's where we're <laughs> at for choosing a spouse. And I get it. Cause if you think about the history of marriage and why people got married, it was not about romance. It was about families aligning themselves for economic reasons. And then when that changed, I feel like this is the reason why some of us are kind of like freaking out. We don't know how to choose a spouse because no one ever taught us how to go, uh, go ahead and choose the right partner for yourself. So we're all trying to figure it out. And whether it's an app or a show, we're all just scrambling trying to find that person. But I say this much, if I were to do that to Arthur, I would hate it if we did this. And then I, we go to a function and I see a woman that I know is perfect for you and I see you light up, but I know that you can't step to her because you've packed married me. That would hurt me. Yeah. Cause I want the best for you. And I want you to find the woman who lights you up. Not somebody who you just settled with because I couldn't find anybody We're gonna else. We're gonna still quietly ship you over here. Anyway. I do. I want the yeah. best for you. I want you to be happy. Plus, I don't want your mother hassling me. All right. So. Hey there. What did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.